Hi guys! You're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and as promised, we are doing up some egg spells. Okay? So if you're interested in that mystical egg that we talked about, and want to stay and watch me do at least two, maybe three things with them, stick around, grab some tea, and have a seat with me. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, <clears throat> last night, if you look back a couple videos, you will see that I did a video on Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Wicked in the Kitchen. I did a video on um, the mystical egg, his whole chapter on that, and he had a couple of really killer spells that you can do with just a simple egg. Honestly, it takes no money, just kitchen supplies. So, <clears throat> and then I've thought up like a variation of it as well, and there's some scrying that's going to be coming up, and I thought of a variation of that as well, like by adding moon water. So you'll get into it, you'll see. Um, Behind me are all the oils that we've been working on. I just did a video on road opener oil, on war oil, on passion revival oil, and over here on this amethyst oil. So many things I've done lately, so check all of that out. But under the category in the mystical egg and Scott Cunningham's book, if I refer to him as Scotty, it's because I feel very close to him even though we've never met but he is my father of witchcraft. And in in the section in the chapter uh, under healing, Scotty talks about a German tradition. My husband is 75% German or more, and I'm 50 to 60% German, so we really get excited about things that came from our heritage, per se. <clears throat> and you guys should too. I think it's really awesome. However, I never, ever, ever suggest an online ancestry, like Ancestry.com or any of that, and if you want to know why you shouldn't do that, ask me in the comments and I will tell you, but I'm firm, firm believer that there's more to that and it's dangerous. Okay, so, to, so here's what it says. To maintain health, Germans once made a small hole on both ends of an egg. And I made that with a, a white-ended pin. Uh, and then they blew out its white and, white and yolk, which I did into here. I actually, <laughs> had I made two holes this small, I thought that you had to shake it out. So the hole had to get bigger. But then at the end I was like, oh yeah, you blow it out. And the whole thing came out. So um, the hole doesn't have to be as big as I made it on this end. It could be smaller. You just have to have enough where you can blow it through the other side, and I'm actually going to demonstrate that for you guys, okay? Because you didn't get to see me do it here. It's not really fair, but I had to practice. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I don't really need to dump that. Okay, um, so in this little cigar box, I've got some supplies. I've got some brown eggs <clears throat> and a pin cushion. If you guys don't have a pin cushion and you do any kind of magics, even if it's lighter side of magic, uh, it's still a great tool to have. <clears throat> so get an egg and a pin cushion and make sure your egg, since it's going to touch your mouth, has cleaned and washed because it could have feces and other uh, harmful bacteria on there, okay? Okay, so then you take a pin and it does say specific, oh no, the other one is specific. Okay, so the small, uh, I always try to do the smaller side of the egg because in one of the spells it says to puncture the smaller side. So I've just been doing it in both. Um, and basically, just like, be confident and know that one straight puncture is going to do it. Okay, so, whoop! So, it's in there, right? But that hole's not going to be big enough to get anything out of. So a good method that I've been using is just pulling it out a bit and then just kind of twisting it. 
like that to get a hole you can kind of work with. And the reason you need the hole on the other side is because, um, is because, like, air. Like, if you've ever, I know it's a lame thing to say, but if you've ever shotgunned a beer, you know how you have to have the hole in there in order for it to go, come out quicker. <clears throat> um, it's just like that. Um, or when you open a can of food, that I should have just said that. Like, if you have a big thing of Dole pineapple juice. So I poked it a couple times, and now the hole's about this big. I'm going to do the same on the other side, and when I flip it, I'm just going to keep my finger over that so nothing slips out. Um, so dull pineapple juice. You know, there's a big ring, and then you poke one side, and it's not enough. you got to poke it on the other side so the air can get to it, and it can flow freer. <clears throat> That's what we're doing here, because technically we only need one hole for the spell. Now, if you were going to do a scry and use the yoke or just the white, remember that when you're puncturing it like this with the needle, uh, it is puncturing into the yoke. So, uh, it, it would get it all mixed up in there is what I'm trying to say. It might kind of scramble it. Okay. Whoop, it's coming out, so it should be good. So you just... Put your mouth over one of the ends, let the other end out, and then... <laughs> it's a funny sound. It takes a lot of pressure, I'll say, with this small of a hole. <laughs> but it can be done. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing, this is funny. I think I need a bigger hole. I think we're just at yolk now. Okay, come on. still white. Yolk. Ah. I'm going to break my cheeks. I need a bigger hole for the yolk, you guys. So a bigger hole will be, you'll be happier if you make one. Have you ever blown up those really small balloons? And you blew up, like, so many of them that it hurt your face. That's what this feels like. It's not the easiest task. <laughs> what the heck? Am I missing the glass? Egg is in there. This is like a Mary Poppins egg. I can't believe there's any more fluid in there. You 
know, like a Mary Poppins purse, she keeps pulling more and more out. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that's finally over. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> if you guys stuck through that, bless you. Now your eggs all yucky, you're going to want to take it and wash it out. But I tell you, the good news is you only have two tiny, tiny minuscule holes. That's awesome. Okay, so for the purpose of the video, though, I've already washed out and dried in front of the fan the egg that we're going to use. Okay? And you're going to want to wash that right away because uh, if you've ever done like dishes and had fried egg on there, you know that when egg dries, it's like glue. Like literal glue. So, hold on. Two seconds. Two seconds. rinsed off and then I blew out the water came out like a thing and then you're gonna want to either put it in front of a fan or put it right side up so that it's gonna drain out okay all right so um now what you do is when you've got your dry egg and it's got the two holes <clears throat> for this spell the hole is going to need to be bigger because we're putting stuff inside of it okay so let me continue reading what we've got <clears throat> Uh, to maintain health, Germans once made small holes in both ends of an egg, blew out its white and yolk, and filled the egg with 13 peppercorns and 13 grains of salt. Uh, this egg was interred in the garden as a charm against fever, which is an indication of many types of infectious disease. So, what we're going to do is... We're going to put a little piece of scotch tape, or I think that's the best temporary <clears throat> solution, on the smaller whole end of the egg, because we don't want anything we put in it to fall out. Okay, so I've got my scotch tape on this end, and then now the bigger end I'm going to be putting stuff into, okay? Okay. So my thought on this was, because it didn't say too much about the spell, and it also didn't say too much on the particular ingredients. So, for a nice way to do this spell, you could use pink peppercorns and pink Himalayan sea salt. Because it's got a big enough grain, you could pick 13 grains out, right? Okay. If you wanted to do this in a mean way and vary it, and do some darker magic, I would use a conventional white eggshell that has a, a not, you know, these are cage-free eggs, they're happy chickens, but if you wanted to turn it into a darker side, okay, and do this to make someone sick rather than keep someone from getting sick, which I never suggest, but sometimes you have people in your life that won't stop and it's up to you what you decide to do, but I did think of a variation. You could use black Himalayan sea salt, black peppercorns, and a white eggshell from an unhappy chicken that was raised very poorly, very cruelly, and has that vibe attached to it, okay? So I thought of a variation for you. <clears throat> but in this spell, we're of course doing it in love and light which is 95% of my work in Love and Light. Uh, okay, so we've taped that end. Now we're going to get 13 peppercorns, 13 grains of salt, and then it says to bury it, doesn't it? No, it says, this egg was interred in the garden as a charm against fever. So we're going to tie it up in hemp twine and hang it from the greenhouse, which is right next to the garden. Okay? Um... 
So let's get these 13 peppercorns in here. I love pink peppercorns. I think that they're beautiful. And I think that the energy to them is really lovely. One, two. Some of these are just the shells, some of them are whole corns, so you really want to make sure you've got the whole corn. Sorry, I'm not usually quiet, but I have to be quiet when I count and when I pick because it's important and I have to listen. Okay, as you put each one in, see your future health. See your family out and about happy, healthy. If you decide to do the darker side, envision that person in bed. Envision whatever you want. One, happy. Two, healthy. Three, um, love. Four, light. Five, health. Six, Happy, seven, new beginnings, eight, warmth, nine, sweetness, ten, perfect health, eleven, no depression, twelve, Clear head, 13, all around health for everyone who lives and inhabits this home, so mote it be. And there was no, I, I was just thinking of the words that were coming to me while I was envisioning that. Does that make sense? Okay, so, those peppercorns are in there. And now we do the same with the salt. And as you can see, there's some big, lovely grains you can choose from with the Himalayan. One, two. See how big they are? You can even see from there. I can, yeah. Great. Okay. So do the same. Whatever you see in your head. Smiles. Perfect work attendance. Perfect rest and perfect sleep. Clear mornings. Clear throat. No pain. No sickness, no sadness, no depression, smiling, truly happy inside, full of life, full of energy. That one was easy. They really came to me with that salt. Sometimes with pepper, I think the energy, because it, it can be spicy and kind of like erratic, the pepper, it can kind of get too much in my head, but that salt just came very easily. So, got all those things in there. Um, and you, you can see them! <laughs> so, they're in there. You could kind of just hold your intention over there in it for as long as you need to, okay? So, if you wanted to... Oh, 
the best way to do this before you wrapped it in your hemp twine and you're going to want to be really careful. If you don't want to wrap it in hemp twine, you don't have to. You could just paint lovely pictures on the outside. You could make a sigil. That's what you should do. Totally make a sigil. Check out my sigil videos. If I think of it, I'll try to attach it, but just look up um, the taxidermy witch sigils and law of attraction. Boom, there it is. And I write out the exact way you can do it. Paint a sigil on this egg and then hang it and use Mod Podge. If you don't know what that is, you can get it at your craft store. It's a clear decoupage glue and you can just make this real pretty, no tape on there. You can just Mod Podge right over those holes, even this big one. It'll just take a couple layers, but you'll get there. And you could, you could put like a teeny piece of tape before the Mod Podge, like, and if I had time in the video, I would do it. We don't even have time for the scrying spell or anything. I have to do a separate video. I always think these videos are going to take like no time at all, but then I think I'm not thinking of, oh yeah, a demo actually takes time, Jen, you know. Okay. So, I would hate to do a second video on this because it's seems like that would be asking a lot of you guys to watch, so I'm not going to. But like, I'll show you the finished product in another video that's upcoming today or tomorrow. So the sigil I'm going to write out and then refine and then make a symbol out of will be this egg has kept our family completely healthy in the next, uh, the upcoming 12 months. This egg has kept, so it's future tense, has kept our family completely happy and healthy the last 12 months. Say it like that because you'd be saying it as you were from a year from now. And because and you want to make these again and again to refresh them. So let's say it lasts you six months or a year. You'll know because you'll know when it stops working, when you get a fever, right? Maybe you need to make a new one because it just didn't work for some reason. But you know what I mean? If somebody gets a fever, just make a new one. So I write that all out on a piece of paper. And then I start refining it by taking out any vowels and any double letters. Okay? And I don't count Y as a vowel. And then when you do that, you're left with like three or four letters. Then you take those three or four letters and you make them into a symbol. Like you start with your T and then you, you have a T, an R, an S, and a Y, you know? You have to somehow make all those look beautiful. And you just write it out a couple times until it doesn't look like letters, but it just looks like a beautiful symbol. And so... I hope that I have explained that well enough to you, um, just for this video, but I really am going to attach my sigils video, but if I don't get a chance to get there, just search um, the Taxidermy Witch sigils, S-I-G-I-A-L-S, and Law of Attraction. You'll find me! I'm there in a black dress with studs on it. So I will show you the finished product in, up in an upcoming video. But I really want to take some time on it and make it look really gorgeous, as it's not something that's going to be buried, it's going to be a hanging, um, what did he call it? A hanging amulet? Or a charm? Yeah, charm. So, okay, and then I'm going to make a video on how to do some divination with moon water and an egg. Come back for that, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Jen, the taxidermy witch, while we talk about cool things like how to get holes in eggs and make them into charms to keep fevers away. All my love. See you guys back.